Are you as disparaging about the ability of maybe some quarters of the UK to forecast the effects of Brexit on the economy? Well, it's certainly true that forecasts of an immediate catastrophe were wrong. There's no doubt about that. But it's a, a dangerous mistake to think that because one forecast was wrong, that means that all future forecasts will be wrong. And I think that's the trap that Davis and some of the other Brexiteers are falling into. It, it was always going to be difficult to, to know the exact impact of the, of the referendum. But I think looking further ahead, paradoxically, it might be easier to work out what the, what the big picture will be if the UK doesn't manage to sign a bunch of trade deals with non-EU countries very quickly. And that, I think, is the most likely outcome. These things take a, a very long time. So if we leave the world's biggest trading bloc and don't get a bunch of deals with other big countries very quickly, we are going to suffer. I can't really see any way around it. Ian, on the subject of forecasting, uh, if you look at the markets, the expectations now are that the Bank of England will maybe hike rates sooner than was believed to be the case at least a month ago and some investment banks are bringing forward their UK rate hike expectations as well. Are you in the wake of recent Brexit news and B macroeconomic data? Well, the, the growth data for the end of the year were a, a little bit better than we expected. So if that was the only thing that was happening, then yes, we probably would be looking for the next hike to come a bit sooner. But I think it's very important to appreciate that the bank is also very concerned, very keen to see what happens to inflation and, and specifically how quickly it comes down this year. I think there's a very good chance it will come down faster than they think. The bank, remember, underestimated the extent to which the drop in sterling after the referendum uh, would raise inflation. And I think it's now probably a bit too cautious on the speed with which it can come down. So hopefully that, that rapid disinflation that we're going to see over the first half of the year is going to allow them to push back that next uh, rate hike a little bit further. I, I don't really think there's any pressing need for them to hike rates in this environment.